So this is definitely the most personal vlog I have ever done on this channel. So if that doesn't interest you, switch off now. But I promise that by sharing this story with you, and it is a story with you, my story with you, that not only can you avoid the pitfalls that I made, that in the long run, you can become a better cyclist and a better human, actually, which is really helpful. So to begin this story, we need to go back 12 months, back to a time of homeschooling, bubbles, LGAs, essentially back to the strictest COVID lockdown that we had here in Sydney. So as we went into that period, I decided I made a conscious decision to lose some weight. Now it's hard for me to put myself in that mental place that I was at the time. I had been riding okay. I had actually done some decent training. I had some solid enough results. I'd finished near enough to the front group at Grafton in Varel, which was a good result. But I thought, I thought that if I could lose a couple of extra kilos, that might be, that might be the edge I needed. Might be the edge I needed to just get that little bit further along. What did I do? So if we jump into my fitness pal, here's a really good example day, okay? So this is the 27th of August, Friday, 2021. And as you can see, boiled eggs, blah, 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 for breakfast, lunch was kind of, as you can see, like a salady tuna type thing and dinner again, like a chicken sort of vegetable-y bowl, kind of pokey bowl type thing. I'll, I'll talk you through the process of this as, as I go along, but let me just show you what I did in the bike. So this is the 27th August. So look, at the time, all I was just doing was essentially, I was calling it maintenance fitness, like an hour, two hours on a trainer, tapping away, doing full gas or something like that. One of those app type things, not doing intervals, just, doing kind of zone two, zone three sort of stuff. But here's the thing, right? So I'm still burning 1200 calories there and that gets factored in to this. And this goes on and on and on, four months. And it worked, like, so I went from sort of 63, 64 kilos down to in around August, what was I, into the 61s, okay? And my body fat was like getting around, it was down around like eight and a half percent. So that's a calorie deficit. Like it works, you lose weight. But I, I gotta give you some context to all this. Like many cyclists, all cyclists, I have a difficult relationship with my weight. I was the fat kid at school, certainly in my early teens. And, and yes, most of that kind of dropped off towards my late teens and early 20s. But, you know, once the fat kid, always the fat kid. Boy, am I glad to see you. Can I interest you in some ice cream? You're damn right you can. So as things open up, I was pretty excited. Like, you know, here I am looking like a pro. Right, so I'm gonna start training like a pro. I'm gonna start eating like a pro, I'm gonna start training like a pro. So I hit Dan up for a super hard training program, but I decided I would keep the same nutrition regime. And it was backed up, I'm gonna name names, it was backed up by what I was seeing on YouTube. Like I looked at the Phil Guyman video about like what he ate during a day on a training day. I was like, shit, okay, well that's what a pro does, a retired pro. I'll do that, okay? So keep in mind, I keep the same nutrition program, all right? So here we go. Um, things start opening up in November, Chris gets outside, Dan starts hitting me with some training sessions. And what you're gonna see is a lot of red marks. And anyone who knows today's plan basically means a red mark is a failed session. I just either didn't do it or like, totally failed at it. It's getting notorious for just moving sessions around. Like you'd put a hard session in and I'd just move it, okay? But here was the hard start VO2 sessions, which I talk about quite a bit on the channel now that I do. Let's dive into the details of them, shall we? Chris did 47 seconds of that one at 380 watts and stopped. 
Chris did 11 seconds of that one. Chris did 47 seconds of that one. I just had no energy, I had no fuel, I had nothing in my body to do this. And like I said, this was being totally backed up by what I was seeing online on YouTube. Now, at this point, I've got to say this, all right? Yeah, you're like, okay, he's under fueling. But right, it's not something, when you're in this mindset, guys, and this is the point of this video, when you're in this mindset, you don't know what's happening to you because the regression is so slow. It's not like one day you wake up and go, ah, oh, shit, yeah, I'm under fueled. I'm chronically, chronically don't have enough glycogen in my body. You don't just wake up one day and decide that because every day it becomes normal. It becomes normal to start feeling the way you feel. And it's also not a matter of flicking a switch and suddenly it all turns around for you. So for me, it took a lot of time. And if we scroll through my today's plan, I really spent a couple of months like just doing my own thing, chilling out, and in the background, things were starting to come together nutrition-wise. And it really wasn't until sort of the end of March 2022 that, look, I come back to Dan, we start doing some coaching, and Chris actually starts hitting some green boxes. So let's actually go into a similar kind of session that I bailed on the other time. And oh, I actually did the session. There's a, an amazing first there. And look, obviously part of this was fueling myself correctly. A massive part of this was fueling myself correctly. But you know what guys, I put some weight on. And the hardest thing to do was to let go of the aesthetic that you thought was your goal. And this comes to the biggest point I wanna make in this video, to not try and mimic someone else's training plan, someone else's nutrition plan, someone else's look. You, the, the Biggest, the biggest performance gain you will ever have as a cyclist is to just accept who you are and get the most out of yourself. The second you look at what someone else eats on a ride or what someone else's interval session is and you decide that's the way for me to get better, you're starting to slip down the slippery slope. And honestly, I just don't think everyone's like being honest. Honestly, I don't think everyone's being honest. I actually don't. Like, I look at some of these this content on online, right? And I just don't believe it. Like, I don't believe, for example, the Phil Guyman video. I just think that's bullshit. Like, either his human what? Like, you just can't run calorie deficits like that. It's just so dangerous. And it really is, like, I still deal with this, like, every, every time I ride now, like, if I, so essentially I was glycogen deficient, chronically glycogen deficient, all right, is basically what I did to myself. And I will pay for that, like, I did a ride up in North Queensland the other week, I didn't fuel it properly, I was basically sick for two days after it, and that, that is what happens when you sort of are chronically glycogen deficient, your body will completely shut down after a solid ride that you don't feel properly. So that's the repercussions that I deal with now. So yeah, there you go guys. I don't know if that was a bit of an overshare or what, but it has been playing very heavily on my mind for some time. I think some of you have potentially noticed that on the channel that I have avoided a lot of talk about nutrition because of well, my own sort of struggles with it and getting and coming to terms i think with the causes of that guys i really hope you enjoyed watching that video i would very much appreciate if you hit the thumbs up and subscribed to the channel and obviously guys if, if there are other people out there who you think potentially are struggling a little bit with their own nutrition on the bike or just their own sort of self-image and stuff, feel free to, to share this video on. I'd, 
love that to um, to maybe help a couple of people out because uh, yeah, it's 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 the world we live in in cycling. It really is. I mean, we are all you just you're in lycra, you know. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will uh, see you super soon.